absolutely disgusting and it's just happening far too often in this area. I don't, I don't understand how a, at this time in the morning a little girl's been stabbed. I don't know the circumstances behind it, but no, it's heartbreaking, absolutely awful. Well, what happened again next week, next month, you know, in, in, it's not going to change. So, you know, what the solution is, I, I don't know, but mm. what I do know is that this is going to keep happening. Yeah, yeah. I just pray I would be that parent to get the call, you know, that is my child that I have to come and identify, you know. How old are your children? They, they, they're young, they're young. They're young. They're young. Well, I'm scared though, because mine are adults now. My children are in their 20s, so I don't have to worry about this. But I think if I did have children of school age, I think I'd be homeschooling. Absolutely disgusting. I'm sure we all know now this happened, okay? What's the black community gonna do about it? Nothing, absolutely nothing, okay? Right, what might happen is the usual suspects will turn up, okay, bro, right, okay, right? And use it as, an, as, a, as, a, as a way to further their social media, bro. Because I've seen a lot of this shit, where there's always a beginning, people making up loads of noise, bro, and then you never see nothing again. You never see nothing again, yeah, right? Just like when, um, who was it? What was that march about again? Black Lives Matter. I watched, I followed a group of riders, yeah? They was riding from Trafalgar Square to Brixton. They bent down on their knees, they put their hand in the air, took a photograph. Then I heard one of them say, yeah, let's go clap from Common now. And then after that, Croydon. So they're looking for opportunities yeah to further their facebook career okay bro this is what they was doing taking pictures or right using other people's grief using a, a situation using a movement where are they now where is all that now see people like to insult me bro the lone voice okay bro that systematically day after day does things as a contribution to making the youth the young youth yeah, the ones that are too young to be out here so far away from home on their own recognizance, yeah? I've decided that the best thing to do, bruv, is keep them young bucks, yeah, that are going to secondary school soon, yeah, akin to their friends. That may, they may split. There's, there's a couple here now that one's going to one school. After years of going to the same school, they've split. And their friendships have split as well. Their loyalties have changed all within a week of being in school. Now, I've seen it. And I'm going to pattern it that no, bro, you lot are friends. You come back here at the end of each day. Okay, bro? You know what loyalty is? Loyalty don't get broken because you joined a new school. Okay? Right? And this is what we have to bang into their heads because what's going to happen is, yeah, they're going to become opposition. They're already doing it. They're already doing it. They're already speaking like, yeah, he don't talk to us no more because he got... Pardon? So I have to go and get them, bang their heads together and say, listen... Fucking hell, what are you talking about, bro? Were you not in your house two weeks ago eating out your plate? Now because you don't go to the same school no more, you no longer what? Listen, man, we don't practice that fake shit here. Right? I can't speak about this. Local youth worker, Anthony King, who runs a crime reduction organisation in Croydon, told BBC Radio London he, just, he had just met with the girl's friends and family following the morning's attack. This is the fourth... This is the fourth or fifth time that I've had to look a parent in the eye and tell them their child has died. It's the worst day of my life and I can't imagine what the feeling is like for them. I don't envy his position, bro, at all. At all. Yeah? And it's good to see there's somebody that's, you know, doing, doing these things, right? But at the end of a long day, bro, you see the, 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 the mob, yeah, that comes. You know what you're better off doing? You're better off patterning your own kids. Because if everyone patterns their kids, how can this happen? How can this happen, bro? My parents were hands-on parenting, and every other parent my age, yeah, okay, it was their parents were, were, were hands-on with them. Yes, 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 I went to jail, but I wasn't killing no one, bro. And I weren't disrespecting my elders, bro. And that's where it starts. You see the killing mentality? It starts because you don't respect nothing. You're leaving your house at 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, telling old, older heads and older people to fuck off, piss off, the fuck you talking to, jumping up on them, swelling up yourself on them. Trying to checkmate them because you know they got a head what they think with, yeah, and you don't have to do that because they'll do it for you. And if they do it for you, they look weak and moist and you walk away like you're tough.
all this marching don't account to nothing. It don't account to nothing. Okay, bro, you're better off taking the time to focus Georgina Slater. Said the people of Croydon need help and no one's doing it. And then people are going to come along and they're going to be like, yeah, sis, you're right, sis, with their tannoy, ugly face and glasses. Yeah, I know who I'm talking about, you don't. Okay, and this is going to go round and round and round and round and round because the people that turn up, yeah, okay, they're not really on it, bro, and they can't do nothing anyway. This cannot be solved by a group and mass protest. This has to be solved from beneath the roof. Air, dirt, air out, dirt, what's it, I have to go again? Uh, uh, uh. Handle your business, bro. Yeah? Fucking hell, cuz. How do kids dominate their parents, bro? Before my child, yeah, ever dominate me, bro, yeah, I batter them straight like that. I don't give a fuck, fam. I need to let them know that out there, what you just got from me was a controlled beating, bro. You go out there, talk shit to people, they can do that to you, bro. Straight, because they don't understand nothing else, bro. But the government took that away. When I was a kid, they took that away from them. And you heard stupidness like, I'm going to divorce my parents and fuck my parents. And all this shit is what you're hearing now, bro. Parents don't know whether to let them out. Yeah, because they want to be their kids' friends. Yeah? Or they don't know whether to keep them in and be a parent. Fucking hell, bro. Every day of the week, they're out. Even the young ones here, bro. It's normal for them to go home come back from school, go to school, come back and be out until what o'clock at night? Until what o'clock? The only thing that may stop them is the weather. How are you going to tell kids at 11 years old? No, how are you going to tell kids, right, that are 15, 16, yeah, you're not going out, when from the age of 6, they've been out here till it gets dark every single day? How are you going to do that? How are you going to stop them from going out when you've already let them have the freedoms of a grown man? Bro, I'm in my yard, bruv. Yeah, okay, and I can look out there and it's pitch black, yeah, and there's little kids out there, 3, 4, 8, 9, 10, 11, bro. What's going on? And now you've got these ones out here, bro. They're just too far gone. But where do they practice that at, bro? Where do they become like that, bro? If I was growing up next door, if I was living next door to a youth that was growing up, right? Okay, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. If all those years I've been growing next to him, there's no fucking way he's going to come out of his house tomorrow or any fucking time and tell me about blood clot, rascal, bro. Because I would have pumped so much fucking manners into his rascal, yeah, just by knowing him from across the fucking fence, yeah? Okay, as a next door neighbor, bro, that he would never, he'd never believe it. So if you add that with the parents, yeah, doing their thing, bro, how the hell did they come out and behave like this, bro? Where did they get the foresight to do this, bro? It can't just be music, bro. But you see, a lot of them, they bat up their parents, bro. And they get away with it. And the parents would rather see them outside than inside because they're scared of their own fucking kids. There ain't no point marching for nothing. How are you going to march against your own people? It looks stupid. It's only us doing it, bro. Compared to the other cultures, yeah, it's only us doing it. And the ones from other cultures that are doing it have intertwined with us and they think they've got to do it and they've got to behave like that, bro. Because we behave like that. Because we extreme, we killers, isn't it? Yeah, blood, I'm a killer, blood. Get me, bro. 14. Yeah, blood, I'm a killer, blood. 16, 18, 19. Yeah, blood, yeah, blood, yeah, blood. This time I can't even bench press 10 kilos each side on an Olympic bar. And hypocrisy, hypocrisy runs fucking deep, bruv, yeah, you got people out here telling you stop the crime, stop the drugs, stop the this, stop the that, using the kids, same way to sell drugs for them, run up and down for them, pattern them, do this and that for them, bro, they're fucking confused, yes? Shut fuck.